the audio comes in through the back, uh, is buffered, is compressed, it is applied to a high speed comparator which uh, is receiving a pulse of 33,500 hertz uh, from the top board in this master clock. And as the capacitor is discharging, and it, I believe it is... Red boy? Yeah, this, um, well, I'd call it orange, personally. But this is our sample and hold capacitor. And then this is our MOSFET transistor. So when this transistor is on, the capacitor is instantaneously charged to the voltage that is provided by this uh, um, buffer amp. And then it is discharged at a certain rate every 33,500 times a second, which is sent to the one input of this comparator. And then the output of this comparator is a pulse width that modulates directly in direct correlation to the amplitude of the signal at any moment in time. That is the input stage of the H910. I really hope that you were following with all of that. Next time, we're going to dive into the extremely complicated, if you thought that was complicated, just wait. We're gonna dive into the very extremely insano, totally not so complicated circuitry that is the algorithm of the H910. We have this number that represents the input level of, that we're giving the H910, but what do we do with it? We put it in RAM, then what? Huh? What? What do we do? We'll get there. Stay tuned on the, for the next episode of What's Up With This Thing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our Patreon. Our Patreon is uh, our livelihood. I wish I could do this for free, but I can't. Neither can Michael, neither can Charlie, neither can Alex. So please subscribe. It allows us to do things like clone little modules or make little Murata filters or make power supplies or whatever. And share this video. Share, your, share it to your family and friends. They won't like it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. You probably fell asleep. Maybe there's a little bit of drool right there. Here, let me get it for you. Stay nerdy. <laughs> That is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs>